UPS paying their drivers one hundred and seventy two thousand. It's been going crazy on the internet. My search ranking is crazy. Everybody is searching for that video. They are saying the job search is high. I wanted to do a video doing a deeper dive and breaking it down. The first video, I just was covering it, reading it for the first time. But when you think about a price that high, it's kind of like a little finesse because it's not technically what you think. And I'm going to break this down in a video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That help out the algorithm a lot. For those that's new and don't know what's going on, so like a week ago, Autoco came out saying UPS drivers can earn as much as $172,000 without a degree. Everybody just seen UPS drivers making $172,000 um, 72, and went crazy, and especially without a degree. But you don't realize them earn as much as, as much as. So remember that because I'm going to circle around to it. So it said headlines went crazy. The tentative deal, which was reached on July 25th, would raise part-time workers' wages to at least $21 an hour and end mandatory overtime, while full-time workers will average $49 an hour, CNBC reported. So basically, they're going through a contract agreement, and they say, but that is not the only job at UPS that doesn't require a bachelor degree and pay six figures. Tractor trailer drivers earn 162,000 and long haul drivers earn 172. This make absolutely no sense why I'll go over the road to make 172 when I can be at home <laughs> making 162. Yes, we're we're not, we're not doing that. I did that. Now, I worked with UBS years ago. Long time ago. Amazing company. I was a preloader. It was the hardest job I had in my life. I only worked five hours a day. I worked from three in the morning to eight in the morning. Basically, a semi back the truck into the building, and I just took box down, box down. And then you go from the beginning all the way to the end. And after you're done, you lift open the bottom, and it's boxes there. Your back hurts, your life hurt. When you sneeze, all type of black stuff come out. It's terrible. I survived like three months and it's like uh i don't know if they released me or i quit whatever it was i was part-time and so what happened was this guy on tiktok that is a ups driver broke this down such as the pay and i'm gonna elaborate it to english for you guys so let's watch this so now so now that UPS drivers are making $170,000 a year, are you thinking of switching careers? How's that possible $170,000 a year feeling? This is gonna take longer than a minute to explain, so let's go about this the right way. Now, $170,000 a year is a bit of an exaggeration here, but let me break it down for you. Now, I don't know about you, but I love factual information, so I'm gonna do my best to just be transparent about the wages that we make. Under current contract, our wage is forty-one fifty-one an hour. Now this contract that has been seen all over social media, once that contract ratifies, which is in the voting process right now, we'll be making forty-four twenty-six an hour. Now if you do some quick math here, if you were to take forty-four twenty-six an hour times two thousand eighty hours, which is forty hours a week, that comes out to about ninety-two thousand dollars a year. But that's not including overtime and it's also not the important part that we're missing here. See, one of the other things that a lot of people don't take in consideration is our medical insurance and our pension. Now, our pension, don't quote me, but it's roughly somewhere between $11 and $13 per hour that's paid into our pension at the 2,080 hours, which comes out roughly about $25,000 a year. Now, you can figure the medical insurance at whatever you want, but you can quickly see that it would actually take about a $170,000 a year job to replace this one for me. Now, while the media is making it a little more profound than it really is, they're really not that far off of how amazing it is to work for this company. So it's funny. First, he clocked out and made sure he covered himself. Second, buddy looked absolutely just like Jason Kidd. Y'all don't know who Jason Kidd is. Google Jason Kidd when he played basketball. Look just like him. Okay. Now, first, we got 172000 And remember, they said, including medical insurance and all that stuff, no job ever said you're going to make x amount of money and included your media your, your your medical insurance all of that stuff so it's that never happens so it's like that's not the bottom line and i talked to somebody that works that worked for ups and just ended up retiring they topped out at um at ninety nine thousand. 
that was like, look, my last year, look which was this year or last year, was at 99,000. So his numbers is correct. So my man is on his stuff, right? Now, if we go to this, and when they break it down, when you look at it, they talk about the in medical insurance and stuff, right? So starting right here, he said UPS pays between 11 and $13 an hour towards pensions and full-time employees. If the hourly pension uh, contribution is $12, that's paid out for a 40, uh, um, 40 hour work week type of deal, 2,000 hours. That will come to additional $24,960 a year in pension contribution. So basically more than 23000 So imagine you saying, okay, you're making $67,000 a year, but just salary. But they can say, okay, since we're giving you this pension, you're technically making a hundred thousand dollars a year. So on the so on the application, the media is okay. We're paying you a hundred thousand dollars a year. Technically, they're not lying. They're not lying, but it's a finesse. As for medical insurance, buddy doesn't give an example, but surveyed by someone say say the premiums for in two thousand two was seven thousand dollars for single and twenty two thousand for family. So you add up that you got another twenty two thousand. So now let's say you're making fifty something thousand. But when you add this together and add that together, they like, whoa, you're actually making six figures. So it's a finesse. Now, since I was a flight attendant for ten years, the best way. Oh my God! Don't tell me I deleted it. Okay, let me pull that up real quick. Okay, I get it. So since I was a flight attendant for ten years. I will show you guys how it kind of looked like this is what's going on. Now, I wasn't with Delta, but I can just, I was able to find their pay scale. And usually, once you get their contracts, you can see exactly what it is. But for the young people, these companies, you get a union, they do contracts, they do negotiations, and you get like a booklet that tell you what's inside the contract. So none of us that don't work there, we don't know until they get the contract and if they make it public, right? So what happens is, as a brand new flight attendant with Delta, and this is probably can't probably not accurate or could be, we just gonna use this as an example. Brand new flight attendant is making thirty dollars an hour as a flight attendant. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but you only work guaranteed like 70, 80 hours a month versus you gotta think the average person work 40 hours a week. So it shows a lot, but it's fully is not a lot. So you got thirty dollars out um an hour, right? And let's say you are making $30,000 right here a year. You're like, all right, man, you work $30 out. You'll be starting off making $30,000. By year 12, you are basically making $70 an hour. So let's say you're making $74,000 right here. But after overtime, we just going to round it up and say six figures. You're making 100000 So I'm doing exact same job right here. That I'm doing right here. Nothing changed besides the time you put in. So what they are showing with that example is their max of whatever it is. So just think of this as UPS. They're showing that 172 as the max you can make after working X amount of years. So that's why in that first article, it says earn as much as. So that is literally the max. Well, your ass got to work there for 12 years or however many years you actually have to work there to get that max. And they are adding in all of this type of stuff. So, yes, you're still technically making good money. Yes, they still have great benefits. Yes, all of that stuff. But it's not as good as what we think, such as I'm about to go apply for UPS and start making close to 200000 a year. No, you're going to apply for UPS and you're going to probably start part-time, and you're going to probably start off making $34,000 a year. And you got to work 20 years to get up to that 170000 Hope that helped break it down. If you are a UPS employee, help people out and myself in the comments. Give us some game of exactly what's going on. Is it more money when you actually just drive the trucks? Or, you know, give us like a... a a consistent pay scale, just probably y'all probably got it online or your iPad or wherever y'all have. You can look at your contract and show us, tell us what's the current contract numbers is right now and what they are negotiating because it's not going to change until everything pop off. Hope this video helped you out. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and help out the channel a lot. Leave a comment. 
to help push out the video to the masses for y'all. 